took on progress in this project, which is a pretty big game. It was a pretty ambitious framing that the story of modernization is also a story of secularization. In an odd way, that presumption has been, and to a large degree still is, asserted as though it's a fact, even though really it's not a well-demonstrated one. There's a school of thought that assumes as technology like artificial intelligence becomes more integrated into society, that the impact of faith and religion will diminish from the public square. An interdisciplinary team of researchers at Arizona State University is challenging the assumption that modernity and secularization go hand in hand. Progress lives more comfortably in the domain we call religion than in any else. And yet, it lives very comfortably in arenas of science and technology. And so, one needs to ask, what gives? Because it suggests that those domains are not separate, but are cohabiting in some way that is worth interrogating. Professor Hurlbut and his co-PIs focus their research on three areas. The human, exploring biotechnology and the transformation of human life. The digital, exploring progress and purpose in the digital sphere. And the natural, exploring the role of religion in environmentalism. If you envision progress as only technological development, then you've abandoned all sorts of other values that arguably are as or more critical to the flourishing of human life. One of the deepest insights of the Jewish environmental movement is to say the world does not belong to humans, it belongs to God. Therefore, you have to protect it, you have to preserve it, you have to make sure that future generations are going to benefit from it. A lot of fixed boundaries have eroded and there's confusion. There's no guarantee with religion that there's total agreement because there are different religions and different standpoints within religion. We need to ask what secularization means. Does it mean that we all just begin to believe in science and that science is opposed to religion? Or does it mean that we have to deal with times that are changing and relations to other people who are different from us. If you think about the categories of science, religion, and secularity, how those fit together requires us to think about how we conceive of them, because the ways we conceive of them also shape what we do about them. What I think has happened to a large extent is we have evaluated against a standard of economic wealth. So the big secular thing that has happened isn't exactly people losing religious faith, and it's not science. It is a transformation of the economy and a transformation of how we think about economic life. And that's not a very adequate sense of value. We end up thinking some things and not other things. We end up writing rules in certain sorts of ways. We end up creating certain technological futures as a consequence that have built into them certain values, commitments, moral orientations, and not others. If we think in binary terms, we've got to go into something deeper and recognize that religion didn't disappear. It didn't just become a private matter, something that you do in the domestic sphere, but God forbid that you will do it in the public sphere, right? We recognize that in order to understand the present moment, and if we wish to also face the challenges of the future, we must develop a new kind of thinking. People as societies can get better at reflecting critically on the sort of worlds we make for ourselves and what forms of meaning and belief and significance are allowed or disallowed in those worlds and hopefully can think better, understand better, and live better as a consequence. Mm -hmm.